got the steel here for the baseball dugout and I'm gonna go deliver it to the construction site and I gotta cut four eight footers out of it. I'll get them set for me. But, so I'm gonna bring some tin snips for the banding, my top saw for the uh, for cutting the material. <laughs> so we'll take off soon. I'll set up the camera when I get there. jack stands and the ratchet straps to level it and the oily pipe slides through them really nice so I can just keep making my cuts. So there's the four eight footers we need for the posts. They've got the post holes made and I've got them braced. We put the level on them, made them plumb, my tack weld braces on them. They're all ready to pour the concrete. Of course there's the other set of dugout over there or the other dugout over there. That's got to be done too. So I'm going to go do something else while they do the concrete. And uh, I made myself, since these have to be mitered on the corners, I've got a piece of pipe that slides over for a 45 degree marking die or jig, if you will. And I can slide it over, mark it at the high end at the top where they want the rail height to be, and mark around it and cut it by with a little grinder by hand after it's concreted in. As you can see, there's snow. We don't have much time to get the concrete done. While the cement's curing, I'm gonna, I grabbed a piece of drop here, and I'm gonna make the feet for the legs that don't go on concrete. I think I'm just gonna make them squares. I'll go corner to corner and put my holes in each corner. Pretty standard layout procedure.
the drilling sequence is finished. I took a chamfer bit and made a nice little recess for the screw to sit down in. I'm thinking maybe I should use that CNC plasma cutter to cut a bunch of feet for railings. Now that's a lot of machining. There's all 10 of the feet done. <laughs> I'm tempted. See, I'm waiting for a pipe notcher to show up so I can, you know, notch the ends of the pipe so they fit together really well. And it says it just got shipped out, or it's waiting for UPS to pick it up right now from Northern Tool. So I'm kind of stuck. I'm tempted to go cut a bunch of these almost a little to the right length, you know, just a little longer so I got room. But I'm not sure the lay of the land will allow for that. I gotta put that top bar on first and see how uneven you know the slab could be. Because if I'm two inches off, then I gotta get weird with the spacer or something or cut a new piece, and I don't want to have that happen. Just have to exercise some patience. 